George Obarski owned a Manhattan liquor store and drove the same route back to his home in North Bergen, New Jersey, every night for decades. At 3 a.m. on the morning of January 12, 1975, as he was driving through the local park, his radio reception suddenly became distorted. He related the subsequent events to UFO investigator Bud Hopkins, who recorded his story with a portable tape recorder. Well, I would say that that thing was 30 feet across. Mm -hmm. It was a big thing. Yeah. And uh, it, it seemed to be, I would say, maybe six feet high. Mm -hmm. You know, like, like a pancake. Yeah. It was blown up in the, yeah. like, a, like a pancake. Right. And, and the thing landed right ahead of me. He described small figures who got out. He said they looked like kids in snowsuits. And they were each one carrying a kind of a, a squarish uh, receptacle and a long spoon-like shovel. They dug soil samples extremely quickly, spooning up the dirt, put it in the little satchels and got back in the craft. He said they moved incredibly fast, like kids coming down a fire escape. And the thing took off. He was absolutely terrified, stunned. He didn't know what he was seeing. Even after George Obarski made it home, he was still shaken terrorized by what he had encountered. I was scared to death. Yeah. You know, I was, I was sweating. And I immediately made some tea. And boy, after that, I turned on this radio and I took two aspirins. Hey, you know, I was, I was scared. Right. But man, if this is either I'm going crazy or something else is wrong. Though. George Obarski died in 1990. His son, Frank, remembers his father's story well. What he described was a, a big saucer-like uh, object which for want of any better explanation you'd have to call a ufo unidentified flying object that came down was sort of disc like on the bottom had very strange lighting sort of glowed the clincher was after it landed my father described himself as being basically frozen almost in fear and this is a guy who'd been robbed a lot in the liquor store in new york and knew what fear was like and had coped with it a lot, but he, was, he said he was genuinely frightened of this thing. 